Hey, Feasters, and welcome to episode 122. And today we've got an awesome show for you. If you're struggling with content on your site, today we're going to fix that and get you on the right path. Talking about the benefits, not the features. Welcome to the Ask Res podcast. I'm Jason. And I'm here to help you get past those bumps in the road, those struggles, those things that hold you back from building an amazing and profitable freelance business each and every single day. And just like yesterday's show, which is titled, What Makes a Great Case Study? This show is going to be all about the reader too. But before jumping into today's show, I want you to open up Twitter, type in at res, that's me with three Z's. And then go ahead and put your website in and hit enter. Go ahead. I'll wait. <laughs> well, to, you know, with the dead air, I couldn't wait too long. But I'll tell you in just a minute why I did that. But what else do you have to lose, right? It's a free shout out for your website and you're telling me, right? Anybody and everybody that's on the web that's following you and me and whoever else might be seeing will see your website. Can't hurt, right? So I want to bring you back to 2014 when the light clicked for me. When it comes to turning things that I do into benefits for my client. I was going through a rebranding effort. See, up until then, I had created my own logos. I ha had a friend or myself design the website. You know, I wrote all the content based on what I had in my own head. All of these things was my brand, but it was always speaking to, or at least I felt like it. I was speaking to the great things that I could do for folks, but I felt something wasn't working. Something wasn't right. I mean, my business was fine, but I, like I said, I felt I could be doing better. See, I was very technical. I still very much am. But what I was hearing from clients all the time was that I was able to translate the geek speak, the techno mumbo jumbo into plain English. And I hung my hat on that for years because it was something that I learned how to do very, very early on in my career. In fact, the trick was, here's a little secret here. I used to put myself and still do put myself in a position where anytime I start talking tech, I pretend like I have to explain it to my grandma. So when I started down this road of rebranding, which let's be honest, it was a branding effort because I didn't really have much of a brand to start off with. So you have to have a brand before rebranding, right? But my branding expert, Megan Gray, said during her consultation with me, this makes total sense, but why isn't it like that on your own website? And so I paused. I didn't have an answer for her for once, right? <laughs> but see, I had nothing but the features all over my website. Things like custom plugin development, security scanning, monitoring, e-commerce strategy. And while all these things had value to them, they didn't speak to the potential client. They spoke about what I do. Megan and I went through all the content on my website services page and rewrote re re all the things. Turning things from custom plugin development into have an idea for your website? Let's talk about that. Turning things like e-commerce strategy into get two times more buyers through your checkout process with simple tweaks. Did Megan have some secret sauce or recipe to do this? No, not really. But what she was able to do with me during our session was to reframe how I thought from being I focused to you focused. And you've heard about me talk about this in the past. Always keep your client in mind when talking about your services. Think about it. When you shop, do you care how the TV was made or how the car maker used the latest and great, greatest technology? No. 
You care if the TV has the best viewing angles because your couch will be sitting on an angle to it. Or you care that the car gets great gas mileage because you are driving a lot and don't want to be spending every other day filling the tank. Address your clients' concern, pique their interest, and speak to their benefits. See, that URL that you just tweeted a few minutes ago, what I'm going to do is reply back to you with a few you-focused benefits based around your existing feature-driven content. Sound cool? I hope so. I'm doing this to help reframe your mindset to spark the interest your potential clients have when reading your website because you've spoken directly to their end results. Once you do this several times and practice this, you'll see how easy it is and it'll become second nature for you to do this in the future. If you have a question, ask Rez. That's me by leaving me a tweet, which you did earlier on, at Rez with three Zs on Twitter, or go to askrez.com and check out a customized playlist. Build your own. All you have to do is answer a few short questions. It should take you maybe 37 seconds. And until next time, it's your time to live in the feast.